Hi, welcome to the 3M Digital Board training video. At 3M, we want to make sure you get the most out of your new investment. So you will energize your participants, whether adults or children, increase retention of information, and make interactive learning an exciting everyday experience. Within the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how the digital board and the included software is easy to use. Then, I'll explain some of the features of the digital board and the presentation pen. Let's get started. For full functionality of your 3M digital board, you will also need a computer and a digital projection system. For an optimal projection system, we recommend a 3M Digital Media System 800 with Vacuity Super Close Projection. This wall-mounted projection device virtually eliminates distracting shadows and is ideal for use with 3M digital boards. The digital board is shipped with all the materials for a basic wall-mounted installation, including a wall bracket and necessary hardware. Please read the installation guide for complete details and follow all safety instructions. Setup for the presentation pen is as simple as installing the battery. Remove the cover, insert the single AA battery using the proper polarity, and replace the cover. That's it! Minimum system requirements include Microsoft Windows compatible computer with Pentium 2 400 MHz Plus processor, Microsoft Windows 2000, 256 MB available memory, also 10 MB free hard drive space and CD-ROM drive or Internet access. To install, place the CD in the CD drive. The program should start up automatically. If not, then go to My Computer Right-click on the CD drive icon and select Autoplay. Select Install Annotation Software. The installer will begin and you can select the default settings or pick the custom settings to choose your own directories. Minimum system requirements include Mac OS X 10.3, Power Mac G3, 400 MHz, 192 MB RAM, 10 MB available hard drive space, and CD-ROM drive or Internet access. Once you have installed the digital board, the 3M digital annotation software, and have inserted the battery into the presentation pen, you are ready to connect the digital board to the PC and configure your system. First, Attach the USB cable from the digital board to the USB port on your PC. Next, attach your digital projector to your PC. You will now need to configure the digital board. Double-click the 3M Digital Annotation desktop icon on your computer. Click Yes in the Calibrate dialog box. With the presentation pen, tap each of the targets highlighted in the red starting in the upper left-hand corner. This helps align the digital board to the projected image. Each time you start up the annotation software, perform the calibration step unless you are certain the projector and the digital board have not been moved since the last use. You've now completed the installation and configuration of your 3M digital wall display, the presentation pen and annotation software. Let's review some of the features of your new 3M digital board. First, unlike common interactive whiteboards, it is much more durable, featuring porcelain enamel over steel construction, providing years of use under normal operating conditions. If you choose to use your digital board as a dry erase board, 
Any standard dry erase marker can be used. Your 3M digital board is resistant to scratches, cleaning chemicals, stains, and graffiti, allowing any marker residue to be easily cleaned. The motion of the presentation pen is picked up by the electronic receiver located in the top left corner. Be careful not to block the pathway between the presentation pen and the electronic receiver. On the left, you'll notice several quick access icons. Each one of these perform a specific function, which we'll review. Before we do, let's get more familiar with the presentation pen, since we'll use it to interact with the board. The presentation pen was created specifically for use with the 3M digital annotation software. It behaves like a mouse. The pen has a moving tip that performs the same action as the left click button on your computer mouse. The largest button that is closest to the pen tip is the equivalent of the right click button on your computer mouse. The smaller indented button will show or hide the desktop annotation tool menu. It only takes a few seconds of practice before you get the feel of it and can interact like a pro. Let's take a look at some of the tools that are located on the digital board. The icon at the bottom allows you to recalibrate your board to the projected image at any time. Above it is the Create a New Page icon. Notice that a new blank page is created each time we click on it. These two icons above the New Page icon allow us to go forward or back. The top right icon opens the Image Gallery that includes over 2,700 images to use as visual aids to enhance learning. We will review it in more detail in a second. Let's first concentrate on the Interactive Tools Palette. The Desktop Interactive Tools Wheel is the main tool palette and all other tool palettes and software features can be accessed from this palette. We can launch it by clicking on the digital board icon or by clicking on the indented button on the presentation pen. The interactive tool palette adjusts its feature to the application you are in. We can move it wherever we choose by placing the tip of the pen in the middle of the interactive tool palette and dragging it to a new location. We can hide this palette by clicking our indented button and then click it again to show the palette. On the top of the palette, we can select the pen. This allows us to annotate our desktop like this. Notice that when it is selected, the palette changes to reflect the specific features available for the pen. The next feature is the on-screen keyboard used with applications like Microsoft Word or Excel. It opens a keyboard where we can type from the front of the room, close the on-screen keyboard by selecting the on-screen keyboard button again, or selecting the close button on the on-screen keyboard. The next button allows us to start a PowerPoint presentation. It opens the standard open file dialog to enable us to find a PowerPoint presentation. Selecting the next button launches the interactive options box. This allows us to set up the wheel properties, the hardware settings, annotations preferences, and check for software updates. We can also launch the interactive options from our PC within the Windows taskbar menu. The wheel properties icon allows us to set the interactive tools appearance. We can change the palette size or select the transparency option. This allows you to customize the appearance of the wheel. We select features to hide the cursor or set up the double click to erase annotations created while annotating the desktop. We can adjust our hardware settings, set up our annotation preferences, and check for updates. Now let's get back to the wheel. Selecting the snapshot icon allows us to take a picture of the entire desktop. Select the snapshot icon, then select the capture screen. This will automatically paste your screenshot into the selected scrapbook page. You can also select a specific section of an image by selecting the snapshot icon and selecting the Capture a Selection option. Using your presentation pen, drag the green box over the area you want selected. It will automatically paste that selection into the current scrapbook page. 
Scrapbook is also available by clicking on the Scrapbook button. The last button starts the calibration process, similar to the process we followed previously during the setup. Let's take a look at the Desktop Annotation Interactive Tools. When we select the Pen Tool, a snapshot is taken of the desktop and turned into an image we can write on. The translucent frame around the border indicates that we are annotating the desktop image, not navigating the desktop. When the Pen Tool is selected, the button becomes highlighted and the center of the palette changes to show the current color and line width. The outer ring changes to display all other color options. Once we select another color, the center of the palette changes accordingly. We can also select the line width to display our four line width options. The highlighter tool allows us to annotate the desktop in one of eight translucent colors. Like with the presentation pen, we can select a different color or line width. We can also select shapes and determine the line size and width. We can also select shapes and determine the line size and color of the shape you choose. If we make a mistake, we can select the eraser tool to erase any annotations we've made. We can also select the center of the palette to change the eraser size. You can always undo any action by selecting the undo tool on the left. We can later select the redo tool on the right to redo the last undone annotation. The Save tool allows us to save a permanent snapshot of our annotated desktop into our scrapbook as a new page. We select the mouse tool on the bottom when we are finished annotating, and depending on your settings, it will save your annotations to the scrapbook. From the Desktop Interactive Tools palette, let's select the scrapbook icon and launch the digital annotation software application which turns our 3M digital board into a digital workspace. Scrapbook allows us to digitally take notes while meeting, brainstorming, or planning sessions. Store screenshots of any image on your computer desktop. Import PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and image files and then annotate over those image files. Playback edit and annotate pages from our scrapbook meeting file. Share meetings over the internet or intranet with anyone in real time. Automatically save our meeting files to ensure we never accidentally lose important notes or a presentation. Scrapbook has three view options. Page and thumbnails, thumbnails view, page views. From the page and thumbnail view, which is the default, you can add a new page, duplicate, copy the entire page, or delete the highlighted page. You can also clear all annotations from selected page by pressing the Clear Page button. At any time, change the order of your pages by simply dragging and dropping them into place. Full Screen View maximizes the current page to full screen size and allows the pages to be viewed in a format similar to PowerPoint presentation mode. The Scrapbook Application Toolbar becomes a floating toolbar that can be closed or repositioned. Using the wheel, you can move forward and back and between your scrapbook pages. To exit from full screen mode and return to the previous view, press the larger button on the presentation pen and select the full screen off. There are other helpful features in the scrapbook. One is the gallery where you can find over 2,700 images and graphics which can easily be added to your presentation. You can also add your own images to the gallery. Cover Sheet allows you to cover and reveal part of the page. The Spotlight is useful for drawing attention to a particular region of our desktop. We can adjust transparency and adjust the shape and the size. We press the X to exit. The Zoom tool allows us to zoom in on the current displayed page. Each time we choose Zoom In, the zoom will increase from 25 to up to approximately 2,000%. Text tool allows you to add a text box to the page. Tap within the page, then tap on the on-screen keyboard icon in the bottom right corner. 
Now you can type in the text. To close the text box, close the keyboard and click anywhere outside the text box. One of the advantages of the 3M Digital Board is the ability to broadcast the meeting to remote participants. To share a meeting, we must be connected to the 3M Digital Board and the PC must be connected to the network or the internet. To set up a meeting, we select the Share Meeting button from the Scrapbook Toolbar. Under Meeting Information, enter your unique meeting information and choose whether you want to password protect accessibility to the meeting. You also decide to use an internal secure network or access the web server, which is included free with the software. Now select Share to connect people from multiple locations. If you have selected the Send Meeting Invitation option, an email invitation is automatically generated and sent to the remote meeting participants. The remote meeting participants receive an email containing a link for them to join the meeting and see the shared desktop. The shared meeting is now available on the network for invited participants to view. To leave a shared meeting at any time, select the End Meeting button from the Scrapbook toolbar. One of our options is to archive a shared meeting. This allows us to archive a scrapbook meeting file. This meeting can later be reviewed, edited, shared, or printed. There are two ways to access the archive meeting function. First, choose the archive meeting on the service when opening shared meeting. And second, during the actual meeting, click file, then archive meeting. Let's learn how to work with PowerPoint. First, we select the PowerPoint presentation button and we can select our PowerPoint slide. And the Desktop Interactive Tools palette changes to the PowerPoint Interactive Tools. We can select the Pen tool to annotate the slide. We can select the Shapes tool to select different shapes. The Eraser tool allows us to erase our annotation marks. The Mouse tool switches us from annotating to navigating. We can select the Slide Forward tool to go forward. We can select the Highlighter tool to annotate with translucent colors. And finally, we can select the Exit PowerPoint Presentation tool to quit PowerPoint. By now, you should be able to use the main functions of the digital annotation software. In addition, it can also work with other desktop applications, such as the popular Microsoft Encarta. Notice how we can navigate our application without having to leave the front of the room. In this case, we can view world geography, rotate the earth, and even annotate all live. Then we can select our snapshot tool and save our annotations for later use. In this mode, you can digitally highlight over anything your computer can show. In summary, we've reviewed how to install the 3M Digital Board and the interactive software. We then reviewed the Digital Board features, the Presentation Pen, and the Annotation Tools. Finally, we went through the included applications along with how to navigate with PowerPoint and interact with other applications. We hope this training material will help you get the most out of your new investment so you will energize your participants increase retention, and make interactive learning an exciting everyday experience. Best of luck.